From the outside, Apple's third generation iPad may look a lot like its predecessor, but it's what's on the inside that really counts. I'm Bill Detweiler, head technology editor at CNET's sister site, Tech Republic, and I'm going to crack open the 2012 Apple iPad. The 2012 iPad's design and construction are nearly identical to that of the iPad 2. Unfortunately, this means the new tablet's case is just as difficult to open and reseal as the previous models. Now to begin, I used a hairdryer to loosen the adhesive which holds the front panel in place. I then used a series of plastic and metal tools to gently pry off the panel. Next, I removed the new Retina display and disconnected the front panel from the motherboard. I then detached the visible connectors from the motherboard and removed the motherboard and connected cellular board. At this point, I decided against removing any of the other components from the case. Most are either held in place with very strong adhesive or their connector cables are. Forcing them loose could damage them, and I want to put this iPad back together in working order. So the only thing left for me to do is remove the EMI RFI shields from the motherboard. And with that, my teardown was complete. So what did I learn from cracking open the 2012 iPad? Well, as I said earlier, the new tablet is nearly identical to the iPad 2 in design and construction. It's the same width and height and thicker by less than a millimeter. This is nice as it means many iPad 2 accessories, such as the smart cover, will fit this year's model. On the inside, Apple kept the overall hardware layout the same, but upgraded many of the components. The most significant of which is the new Retina display. This 9.7 inch screen offers a resolution of 2048 by 1536 at 264 pixels per inch. This is four times the iPad 2's total number of pixels, and according to Apple, you won't be able to see the pixels when viewing the new iPad at a distance of about 15 inches. Now to run this new display, Apple beefed up the tablet's GPU and RAM. From the evidence I've seen, the 2012 iPad's A5X system on a chip has a 1 GHz dual-core CPU and a 200 MHz quad-core GPU. Now, In comparison, the iPad 2's A5 system on a chip has a 1 GHz dual-core CPU and a dual-core GPU. The 2012 iPad also has 1 GB of RAM compared to the iPad 2's 512 MB. Along with the upgraded graphics, the new iPad also has an improved 5 megapixel iSight camera, which can shoot 1080p video, and the unit supports AT&T and Verizon's 4G LTE networks on 4G models. Now to power all these new features, Apple gave the 2012 iPad a battery with significantly more capacity than the previous version, 43 watt hours compared to 25 watt hours. Given the new tablet's beefier hardware, battery life, though, remains about the same. 10 hours under normal use and 9 hours on 4G. On the downside, Apple didn't increase the iPad's storage capacity. The 2012 model comes in 16, 32, and 64 gig versions. Also, the tablet still has a single speaker, whereas most other 10-inch tablets have two. Lastly, like the iPad 2, the new iPad is frustratingly difficult to work on. It should come as no surprise, but Apple doesn't really want you mucking about inside your iPad. As far as pricing, Wi-Fi only iPads start at $499 and go up to $699. Wi-Fi plus 4G models add $130 to the price. While there's nothing revolutionary about the new iPad, it's definitely a solid incremental update. And the Retina display puts every other tablet to shame. Now to see more iPad teardown photos, Check out my full Cracking Open gallery at techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. For CNET and Tech Republic, I'm Bill Detweiler, and this has been a cracking open of the 2012 Apple iPad.